Well, I bet I did something really important and exciting. Like, like maybe I was a speechwriter for the first ever black president. Hey, can he say the word ask, or, or is that a word we should avoid? Yeah, and I bet you I was the voice of an animated bird. I thought I saw a cat. I did see a cat. Oh my god, look at that. Wow, that looks pretty bad. Is the Chinese guy dead? Wait. We, we were in this car. I can smell us all in this car. This must be the accident that put us all in the hospital. See if there's a registration in the glove compartment. Peter Griffin. One of us is Peter Griffin. Look at this indent on the steering wheel. It's a perfect match. Oh my god, you're Peter Griffin. Yeah, I am. And you live at 31 Spooner Street. Finally, a real clue. Let's go. Wow, I own a house. I just hope it doesn't have one of those mailboxes that looks like a cow. I just want to seem cool to these guys, but I really hope I have one of those mailboxes that looks like a cow. Moo, says my mailbox. Well, this is 31 Spooner Street. I'm home. All right, see you guys. I'm going to go shove my hand down my pants and see if that goes someplace. Guys, guys, it goes someplace. Hang on, I got something. I poop a lot on this lawn. This must be where I live. Hey, shirt pants, come in here. Oh, my God! I know, I know, you're my owner. I knew it, I knew we were pals. Yeah, I mean, there's, there's no pictures of me, but I see you've got a dog collar and a leash. And look how big your doggy cage is. You could fit a human in there. Clearly, you're a good owner. It's such a weird situation. I, I just think somebody should be writing about it. Yeah. Do you, do you think it should be me? Should, should I be the one writing about this? Uh, I don't know. I, I think it should be me. And just do it. Stop talking about it, for God's sake. Oh, hey, guys. Well, we got it all figured out. Turns out my name is Glenn Quagmire, and this is my dog. Hey, you guys. Yeah, I found my house. Turns out my name's Joe Swanson, and I found this police uniform in my closet. Do you know what that means? I'm a stripper. Well, it's good we found out who we all are, but we still haven't found out what the hell happened to everybody else. Yeah, I've been thinking about that, and I think the best course of action is for us to just go ahead and start repopulating the Earth. But there are no women. Well, let's try some stuff. Hey, you guys want to see something cool? There's a bedroom upstairs that belonged to some girl, and she's got bras in there, and the cups are different sizes. Like, like one of them's a martini glass, and the other one's some kind of melon. Guys... You know how we were thinking that something must have caused this situation? Or someone? Yeah? Look at that. Oh my god. It's him! He did this. What do we do? Check it out, I got the little freak's bra. I'm gonna put it on. Huh, this actually fits pretty well. Oh wait, there's a name on it. It's mine. My God, Peter is responsible for killing everyone on Earth. But how could a guy like that cause all this destruction? Well, he's clearly not just a guy. He's some kind of omnipotent alien with powers we can only guess at. Look at him, watching, learning, absorbing. This Janet is in love with this red-headed ashtray. Lucy! But why didn't he kill us? I don't know, maybe, maybe he needs us. Maybe we're important. I mean, I do have all these profound ideas and thoughts. Maybe I was a deep thinker of some kind. Deep thinker? I spent the whole morning trying to teach you one simple thing. Give me paw. Paw? Good. Other paw? No other paw. No! We practiced this! You're gonna make me look bad in front of the other guys. Other paw! Finally! You know, this actually reminds me of a quote by Milton. Shut 